Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And this is the eighth and last episode in my NBA 2K14 tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about passing and how to run your offense. Um, I know a lot of guys out there don't usually let their guys cut to the basket or send people around screens and stuff like that, but I'm here to teach you all of that, even a little bit of flashy passing. So let's hop right into it, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last video in my NBA 2K14 tutorial series. Let's talk about passing and offense running. So, regular passes, not hard to do. All you do is press A. Now, when you press A, it's always going to pass it to the closer uh, offensive player. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the analog forward and then pass it, and it's going to go to the paint. All right? Very easy, very simple. Directional passing. It's kind of, uh, I would say, iffy, but, you know, at least you know where you stand. Now, bounce pass, LTNA. See that? All I did was press LTNA if you looked up in the left-hand corner. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the analog, the left stick, forward, and then he's going to bounce pass it to the paint, all right? Real easy, real simple. You guys, it's not hard. But uh, let's talk about this fake pass for a minute. X and A. Does anybody remember what X and A was for NBA 2K13? Of course, it was the alley-oop. But now, it's the fake pass. I don't know. Maybe that's cool. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> flashy pass. Now, flashy pass, all you have to do is hold LT and then the right stick towards the receiver. So, if I press it left, it'll go to the left. Now, let's try it going to the paint. Let's see what type of flashy pass he has for him. All right. Little, little no-look scoop pass. Cool. But, you know, pretty good, pretty good. Now, let's see. Icon passing. One of the favorite things to do, but it's kind of delayed. Like, I'm going to press these buttons simultaneously as fast as I can, and you guys will see how fast you can actually, you know, time when a player is going to get the ball or if you have enough time to do it in a certain situation. So let's look at it. Automatically press RB and X. All right. Let's check it again on the center. All right, LT. See that? Now, you could have just pressed the X button and forward and the ball would have gotten to him. But sometimes people like pressing icon pass because they don't trust the directional pass. Now, icon leading pass. What you want to do is you want to press RB. Then you want to press whoever it is you want to pass it to, such as X. But you have to press the uh, left stick in whichever direction, all right? So, RB ls and then the x button now this this kind of works because you can kind of lead the player with you but at the same time it hurts you because sometimes the defender will get in your way and you just won't know what's going on so hold the ls and lt all right but let me lead let me lead the center out of the paint let's see if it works that way rb ls and then the, i'm sorry <laughs> I press X. I was so hyped. <laughs> All right. RB. And then I hold the left stick. And then I press LT. All right. I guess he didn't want to pass it. All right. I guess they have to reset maybe. All right. Let me just pass it. And start it over. All right. There we go. And there you go. That's how you lead pass. All right, it sucks, but you know, it's kind of cool. Alley oops, one of my best things. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can send him out. Oh, I try to send him out. I press okay. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, come on, buddy. Buddy, buddy, you, you don't want to do alley oop no more. Okay, all right. So, now the thing about uh, alley-oop passes, you can actually shoot with LT and X. And what I mean by that is, if you're just by yourself and you're like out of it, like say three-point line, you can throw an alley-oop like that or you can shoot. If nobody's there, you can hold RT and shoot. You know, and LT is, it's kind of weird. But um, I've done it a few times. Um, let me see. Let me pass it to him and pass it back out. All right, now look. I got LT held. Now I press X. It's weird. It's, it's just so weird. But uh, let's try it again. One last time. Alright. 
Now, moving on. Send teammate on cut. Now, this is probably one of the best things to do because a lot of people always probably bring up the menu. What the? F Everybody always bring up that little menu and then send one certain player on the cut. But here, you can send anybody that you want on a cut. All right, so look. All right, X, and then you move them in any direction you want. Real easy. Now, if you want the center to pop out and you want to drive to the lane, this is classic. Look, LB, LT, and then you send them out the paint, and then you could drive right in. Just move the just move the center right out the way, and you could take advantage of whoever is guarding you. Now, uh, call for a screen. It's real easy. Just hold B. And um, the thing is, with this year, uh, roll is in the middle. Roll is not at the end anymore, which is kind of weird, but you know what I'm saying? You just got to get a feel for it. Once he roll, and then he's supposed to roll to the basket. It's pretty good. But uh, the last thing is the give and go. Give and go, all you do is press and hold A, and then you can run wherever you want. And once you let it go, you get the ball back. Now, I'm not sure how well this works in uh, my career, but I know when I play 5-on-5 five five and I give him the ball, I can literally beat my defender and just come back and get the ball. But uh, hopefully this helps you out um, with passing and offense. Um, like I said, moves in 2K14, they are more fluid. But at the same time, the ball is so tangible that you don't want to mess up. Especially with flash, flashy passing. No matter how hard you, you want to do things, like... You can try to do a flashy pass, and some people' pass ratings just aren't good enough, you know, and the ball might get fumbled. <laughs> like, uh, if anybody watched my uh, first game in the NBA, <laughs> I thought I was doing the flashy pass, and it went right out of bounds. So, uh, you know, hopefully this helped. IKC signing out, and I'm going to holler at you guys in my next video. Peace. Oh, also, one big thing before I get out of here. The training camp, you definitely want to do. If you haven't done it yet, something is wrong with you. The training camp will help you with learning all the moves. All right? Peace, y'all. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.